Diddly do, YouTube. Diddles here, and I know some of you may be wondering, where's the new episode of Pokemon Academy Life? Well, I'll get to that later, but I just want to take the time now to say thank you. And I'm saying this because a lot of you might not know this, but since I deleted the video such a while ago, on July 21st, 2015, I posted my very first video to YouTube. So this, today, is the one year anniversary of me being on this website. So I just wanted to take the time to think about all the great friends that have helped me get to where I am now. I'm, I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers, and I can tell you right now, I couldn't have done it alone. First of all, I'm going to thank the whole Undertale community for dealing with me with this whole Papyrus Stronger Than You thing and the Gaster's Timeline Cry Crisis. I, I, I just want to thank you, because without that, I, I don't think any of this would have been possible. But it's, it's, it's not all just me. As you can see, there's um, four very special people that I want to thank. I'm going to start off with Diego, my editor, and you may not know this, but he, from day one, he has always been the very first person to like my video, regardless of what it was. He was always the first one to like it. And that meant something to me. He takes the time to edit these together, even though he has so many other things that he could be doing. And I, I know that in my videos I portray him as such a crude, vile, and evil person, but he's actually one of my best friends, and I could not do this without him. The next person I want to thank is BloodyHeart69. You may know him or her. I won't give any specifics, but you may know them from the one comic dub I've done for them, or from their art on Instagram. But he's a great, he is just, oh my gosh, I can tell you, we were in school, I would not have survived if it wasn't for her. I mean, he kept me sane throughout the last couple of months of school, when I was just ready to flip everything. But he is a great artist. I I sincerely hope that you guys will follow him on his Instagram, check out his art. Cause he's he's actually one of my biggest inspirations. Cause for a large part of the summer I just stopped drawing because I was in such a rut where I didn't know what to do. But then I would get on his Instagram and see that he's just putting out all of these beautiful pieces of art. And it, it just inspired me to get back into doing what I love. So, I just want to thank him also for getting me back on track. Next person I'm going to thank, Knight of Breath. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I would be doing if I hadn't met you. I, I still remember specifically, um, the first time I ever spoke to her through a computer was, um, when I saw that she had done a Bone Truzel cover for, um, Undertale. And I said, you know what, this is really good, but... I I think I might want to try doing a cover, but I don't know if I like I didn't know what type of person she was. I didn't know if she would be okay with me using the lyrics or not, whether or not she would be fine with it or whether she'd say no, you need to go and do your own thing. But lo and behold, she was just one of the nicest girls I've ever had the pleasure of talking to. She was so enthusiastic and then when I finally made the video, she was one of the first people to comment on it. And I was just so ecstatic. Like, I, I didn't... I did not expect that, and I can only say, again, thank you. You've been one of the biggest inspirations, especially when I do a lot of cover videos, where I'm... where I get... sometimes I feel very self-conscious about how the song sounds, and I'm like, you know, maybe I should just go ahead and delete this, because I don't really... I, I don't think that people are going to like the way I sound, but then I go on your channel and see all these covers, you just put them out, and I can tell that you're doing them because you're having fun, and that's what all of this should be about. So, I want to thank you for that, too. You are just an amazing person. Now, the last person I want to thank is Water Witch, who is... A very young YouTuber, but I can tell you this from what I've experienced with her. Her voice talent is amazing. Now the only thing that I regret 
is that I was working with her on a project a while ago for a song cover called Come On Muffy, which was supposed to be a song parody of Come On Eileen. But with the stuff going on at school and things at home, I was so stressed out that I just completely dropped that project. And I've been regretting that ever since. So, hey, Water Witch, if you see this video, I think things are at a point where if you're still available, I would love to do that. I mean, not to mention her voice for some of the Gaster's Timeline Crisis characters, I could not have been any more amazed. I wish I could explain to you how perfectly she fit Brandy's voice. It was absolutely astonishing. I, She has major talent and I hope that she gets m the more recognition because she definitely deserves it. But anyway, I just wanna I want to thank all of my subscribers for sticking with me even when I stop doing the even when I stop doing the things that you were on this channel to see but you guys still stuck with me and some of you even started to actually like what I was doing and that really helped so I want to say thank you to my subscribers I want to send spend another uh, couple of seconds to thank Night of Breath, Water Witch, Bloody Heart and Diego cuz I would not be doing what I am today if it wasn't for you guys. You guys have just made everything possible and I can't thank you guys enough. I'd even go far enough to say that I love you guys. You guys are like the family I've always wanted. So yeah, I just want to say once, once again, thank you. So with that being said, diddle out. Also, just a quick side note, the reason why there isn't any Pokemon Academy Live today, actually there won't be any today or tomorrow, is because both of our schedules have gotten to a point where we actually cannot record it right now, so the series is going to go on a hiatus. But don't worry, it won't go on a hiatus like Gaster's Timeline Crisis did. Because, um, yeah, that's really it. Alright, for real this time, diddle out.